Good day, future arts manager. For our today's lesson, we have the art market and artist run initiatives. Bilang students, you are expected to enumerate or make a list of group or organization in the creative industry value chain as well as the core and related industries to demonstrate and appre appreciate of the art market and artist run initiative. In this lesson, bilang students, uh, you will going to cite the contribution of businesses in the art market and artist run initiative. And we will going to study about um, the interrelationship between the art and the economy. It must be noted that uh, though an artist-run initiative is not completely independent from the art market, the difference lies on the degree of control that artists have over decision concerning the kind, quality, dissemination, and circulation of artwork. So, let's go! Art galleries. Commercial galleries are sometimes seen as opportunities for artists. Galleries are commercial spaces where an artist's work is promoted and sold to a client. Galleries are expected to have a network of art dealers and agents, and they are expected to have a database of collectors and necessary capital for promoting their roster of artists and ensuring that the artwork circulate. They have the human resource capability to write about the artist and promote them through channel of validation. Napakaraming art galleries sa Metro Manila palama. Uh, kaya ngayon ipapakita natin ang iba't ibang, uh, at least yung iba sa art galleries na meron sa Visayas and Mindanao and the rest of Luzon. First is Galleria de Mamila was established in 1975 by Italian-born Silvana Ancelotti Diaz. Today, it is the longest-running commercial gallery in the Philippines. The gallery exposes Filipino artists locally and within the Asian region. Galleria de Mamila specializes in contemporary paintings, sculptures, works on papers, and installations. Meron din silang mga rare secondary market stocks by more than Filipino masters. The gallery also handles rare works na galing sa mga early 20th century masters natin gaya na si uh, Fernando Morsolo, Fernando Zubel, H.R. Rocampo, Vicente Manansala, Jose Hoya, and Cesar Ligaspi. Pinapakita rin dito sa Galleria de Wimila yung mga local and foreign artists ng current generation. Meron silang uh, monthly program of art exhibitions, uh, performances, reading, musical events, and custom-built gallery na nasa Pasay City, Manila. Isa sa mga tinatrabaho nila ay ang uh, private and corporate collectors na ano na, nakapag-distribute sila ng mga artworks na galing sa Galleria de Mimila sa abroad and locally. And yung mga katay-ups nila na museum ay sa Asia, Australia, Europe, and US. Meron din mga corporate collectors dito sa Philippines na nandun din yung ibang mga galleries gaya ng ABS-CBN, Bank of Tokyo, BPI Companies, San Miguel Properties. Meron ding mga artworks na galing sa Galleria de Wimila na nakapost na sa uh, iba't ibang hotel dito sa Philippines. Next is Final Art File. The gallery was established in early 1980s. It carried work by national artists and other established artists in the country. Noong 2008, it transferred to what used to be warehouse in Chino Rosas Avenue in Makati. The two exhibition spaces at the second floor and the huge space in first floor allowed the gallery to open simultaneous shows in a month. The space also allowed it to have a contemporary art exhibitions. Tinao Gallery is an art space located in center of Makati, the Philippines' leading financial district. It was started in 2008 by two ladies, Maria Salang and Don Atienza. It is a venue for the exhibition of contemporary works of Filipino and Asian artists. You can visit the Tinao Gallery at www.tinao.com. 
Another art gallery in Metro Manila is Ultra Mondo. It was inaugurated in May 2010 as a gallery that prioritizes contemporary art. As of April 2012, Ultra Mondo was partnered with Picasso Boutique Service Residences. It continues to have a space in Greenbelt where regular shows are held. Drawing Room is the contemporary art gallery in Makati City, Philippines. It was founded by Cesar Villalon Jr. in 1998. The Drawing Room began a specialist venue that featured works on paper. Aside from monthly exhibitions, it circulates its artist off-site shows in the other spaces in Singapore, Taipei, Jakarta, Beijing, Turin, and London. You can visit their website at www.drawingroomgallery.com. Silver Lens specializes in Philippine contemporary art that established in 2004 and it was the first photography gallery in Southeast Asia. Having established its niche in photography, it expanded to include exhibitions of the rest of the contemporary art in 2008. Ito ay pinagmulan Nina Isa Lorenzo and Rachel Rillo, artists who works with photography. From the artist run initiative, it involves into full service gallery na mga pictures din nila. Recent collaborations include the Singapore Art Museum, New Museum in New York City, Museum of Contemporary Art and Design Manila, Busan Binil, at marami pang iba. Tinatangkilik din sila ng mga institutional collectors gaya ng uh, Lumi Collections sa Finland and Singapore Art Museums. Meron ding uh, Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas Collection. Let's proceed to the different theater companies in the Philippines. First is the Repertory Philippines or Rep. It was established by the late stage director Sinai de Amador who wanted to make a theater a social habit in the Philippines. The theater company was launched in 1967 with the Galug adoption of August Strindberg's Miss Julie. Over the years, Repertory Philippines developed its reputation as the premier English-speaking theater company in the Philippines. Meron din sila mga tinitrain na mga gustong maging actor sa theater pero hindi nakatapos ng pag-aaral kaya medyo nahihirapan sa pag-English. And... Um, Ang unang uh, naging uh, residency ng Repertory Philippines ay ang Insular Life Building in Makati, kung saan ay uh, mas maraming crowd ang nalululan. Pero nag-move sila sa Shangri-La Mall, EDSA, pero ngayon nasa Podium 4 RCBC Plaza na sila. You can visit their website at repertoryphilippines.com. Next is the Philippine Education and Theater Association, or PETA. PETA was founded in 1967 by Cecil Guidote Alvarez. It was then an organization of theater practitioner who also thought the vision was to make PETA a tool for cultural and social transformation and inspire critical thinking among audiences. PETA specializes in the creation of original plays in Filipino. There are 100 plays that PETA has written and translated, adapted, published, and performed. It also continues to facilitate workshop in both local and international scenes. Its initial home was in Raja Sulaiman in Fort Santiago. PETA had open-air performances then, and the, perform, uh, the performers come in from radio, television, print media, music, and the academy. Nestablish ang PETA Theater Center noong 2005 at meron na silang bagong lugar kung saan ay nasa Barangay Crisos, Cristong Harry in Quezon City, Metro Manila. You can access their website at petatheater.com. Let's now proceed to the different artist-run initiatives in the Philippines. First is Angona Atelier Association. It was established by artists from Rizal Town, namely Jose Pitok Blanco, Salvador Huban, Dominador Domi Thiamzon, and Nemesio Nemi Miranda. 
Its first exhibition was held in 1975 during a town fiesta meant to commemorate the sixth death anniversary of Carlos Botong Francisco. Nagkahiwahiwalay din ang grupong ito dahil sa hindi pagkakaunawaan. And Blanco and Juvan formed the Angono Artists Association. Si Neme Miranda naman ay nanatiling leader ng atelier. And as of today, the whole town of Angono is a cluster of artist studio, artist-run galleries, and theme art restaurant. One of these is the Neme Miranda Art, art House, situated at 10 Doña Elena Street, Doña Husta Village. A new space called Atelier Cafe was opened within the compound. Another would be the, Bul- the Balaw Balaw restaurant ran by the Pertigon Vocalen. Cesar Hernandez also runs his own artist studio. While Blanco, together with his entire family, runs the Blanco Family Museum in Barangay San Vicente. Noong 1998, Wire Tuazon, together with uh, his fellow artist, put up surrounded uh, by water under the guidance of Roberto Chavit. It featured contemporary artists of Angono that soon crossed over the Manila through a satellite gallery in Ortigas, Metro Manila. It is no longer active, but... Uh, the initiative inspired many younger artists to start their own spaces. Uh, last but not the least, the Totong Francisco, uh, Apo, uh, ng National Artist, runs the second gallery and it's situated in Barangay Poblacion, Itaas. Next is, ang sikat na sikat na Casa San Miguel sa San Antonio, Zambales. There is a farm converted into center for the arts in 1993 called the Casa San Miguel. It has a space for concerts, uh, for workshops, exhibits, and marami pang iba. Uh, pwede rin dun, uh, reception and so on. Owned by the Corpus and Bulitapa families, it serves as a home of the Pandi- Pandikit Festival of Arts featuring the Pandikit Virtusi, led by Coke uh, Bulipata, a concert violinist and founder of the center. There is also called uh, Anita Gallery. The proceeds of the art center go to the maintenance of the venue and support for the youth of San Antonio who are venturing into the arts. AAP, the Art Association of the Philippines, it was founded in 1948 to promote the interest of artists, exhibit works, encourage education, and uplift artistic standards through AAP awards. It was founded by Purita Kalaw Ledesma. The gallery of AAP is located in the Kanlungan ng Sining, Rizal Park, Manila, Philippines. It also function as the office and the website can be accessed through www.aapkanlungan.org. Green Papaya Art Projects The initiative was founded by Norberto Roldan in 2000 as a space for exchanging ideas, intellectual stimulation, exhibit in contemporary art, artist talks, performances, and casual hangout for artists. It is also active in international exchange and has residency program for curators and artists who form part of their network and close circles. International Network brings in project and grants for initiative, and it remains to be an open platform for contemporary art with an active part of programming component. The space offered the opportunity for contemporary artists to explore issue in contemporary world and art itself across political, economic, and social factor. It is considered the longest-running independently-run initiative operated by artists. Ito ay mapatagpuan sa Kamuning, Quezon City. But unfortunately, it was on the morning of June 3, 2020 that the communities of both Green Papaya and Catch 272 mourned the devasta- devastating loss of Unit 41B. A fire broke out from the furniture shop next door. Thankfully, wala namang nasaktan pero talagang halos lahat ng artworks na nandoon ay nasira. 
98B. The Artist Run Initiative was established in January 2012 as a response to the need for the alternative art and creative venues in Manila. It is spearheaded by Marx Salvatus, a contemporary artist often engaging with urban communities in the Philippines and abroad, and Mayumi Hirano, a Japanese curator from the Koganetsu Area Management Center, a non-profit organization in Yokohama. It started in a residential district of Cubao, where Mark used to stay as a resident. It was initially a platform for exchanging ideas among artists and cultural workers. They soon transferred in Skolta, an old financial district in Manila before 1960s. Joined by other artist collaborations, they are currently headquartered in uh, first United Building in Skolta, Manila, and the space at the building's mezzanine is currently positioned as an art space, shop for creative products, site of artist talks, library, and organizer of art bazaar for creative work. You may visit their website at www98 dashb.org PSP, Project Space Pilipinas. It is an artist group based in Lokban, Quezon. They host most of their projects in an apartment converted into art space with an initiative called Near Manila. PSP hopes to facilitate art residency, training for young artists and artist exchanges. Let's now proceed to Dance Forum by Myra Beltran. She established this studio and performance space in West Avenue, Quezon City in 1995. The studio specializes the contemporary dance forms Beltran is described in her, in her website as the rally force of independent dance. And the studio has produced choreographed works of Paul Morales, who is now the artistic director of Ballet Philippines. Other artists include Denisa Reyes, Enrico Labayan, Christine Maranan. The studio also collaborates with filmmakers, sound designers, musicians, theater practitioners, visual artists, and media artists. You can read Myra Beltran's profile on her website. You can visit it on mbddanceforum.com. Agnes Loxine. The residential compound of Agnes Loxin in Davao City, Mindanao has a space for dance workshop, training sessions, and performances shared to a select public. It is simply called as the Loxin Dance Studio Theater. 
She is an innovator in the Philippines' contemporary dance. Loxin is one of the country's leading choreographer. Changing the field of dance and the conventions of the form itself with her seminal works, the dance studio in Davao currently her resident choreographers among whom include her own nephew. Loxin recently supervised the choreography of Puno Pangatlong Galaw, or Three Third Movement. The third installation of the Alay sa Puno series of Peta Fin Ma Theater. This is the piece developed in Davao as a response to calamities in 2012. The Manila show coincide with Loxin's book launch, Neo Ethnic Choreography. Lastly, Anima Guitarra. Jonathan Agbayani Gonzalez, formerly trained in music conservatory under Filipino guitar maestro Jose Valdez. He has taken master classes under George Orozco in Spain, Angelito Akawili in USA, Teresa Caputura, USA, and Miguel Trapaga in Spain. He started Anima Guitarra in 2003 by providing guitar lessons for individual students. It is unique in the sense that very few musicians are able to sustain career in music instructions and last for more than a decade. Today, Anima Guitarra is solidarity as allied musicians. There is fully service teaching studio with top-of-the-line musical instruments and equipment called The Ghetto and Old Balara. The arts and culture initiatives have always been nomadic by choice as a form of assertion against commercial music studios. Meron din kayong, uh, marami rin kayong mababasa sa website niya so you can visit it, animagitara.wordpress.com. And that's the last lesson for this chapter. And for our chapter summary, ito, ito yung mga pinag-aralan natin nung nakaraan. The context of encounters in art are driven by the mediators operating with social and political economic forces. There are big art and cultural institutions that are run by the government. Isa dito ang National Art Centers and GSIS Museo ng Sining. Pinag-aralan din natin nung mga nakarang linggo na... Uh, maraming private run institutions ang dedicated to the promotion of preservation of arts. Kasama dito ang Ayala Museum, Lopez Memorial Museum and Art and Ateneo Art Gallery. Marami din tayong na topic na private companies and businesses that uh, supports the arts as their way of contributing to cultural preservation. And lastly, there are art initiatives run jointly by several artists or solo ventures and they are established to promote the interests of artists, exhibit works, and train and educate young art enthusiasts, among others. Thank you so much, everyone. See you all next week. Have a nice day.